Hey guys, it's Jess. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a Funko Pop haul. Since Christmas just passed, um, I did acquire a lot of Funko Pops in the past few days. I thought it would be fun to update you guys and share um, what I got with you. Um, uh, just a disclaimer, I this is not bragging by any means. Um, some of these I did actually pick up myself. These were not all gifts. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys my collection because it kind of seemed like it's something that you would be interested in um, seeing, you know, what I got. So um, how I've furthered my collection thus far. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. I am going to apologize uh, right off the bat for the lighting. Um, I'm in my living room and the lighting is really not the best in here at all. I tried turning my lamps on and doesn't to appear to, appear to have helped as much as I was hoping, but um, yeah, just bear with me. Also, say hi to Russell. Um, and also, as usual, apologizing for the quality, apologizing for my appearance because I just worked all day, and any rambliness or if I annoy you, I apologize. So I'm just going to jump right in. Um, in my last Funko video, I talked about how I had some more Little Mermaid Pops on the way. They did come, so... Here is my little Ariel and oh, mermaid form. She does kind of have a little bit of trouble standing up, so I do have to kind of um, lean her up against her box. So, but this is Ariel as a mermaid, so I did receive her. I'm just going to kind of, yeah, we're just going to say bye to Ariel. Um, the next one I wanted to show you is Flounder. He's so cute. I love his little half smile he's got going on. I think they did a really, really good job with this pop. Um, he's really, really, really cute, and he looks so much like the character. So I'm really happy with that. And then the last one is Sebastian. He's absolutely adorable, too. I love his big huge claws are like the size of his dome he's just adorable so yeah um that is all i needed to complete my little mermaid series as i said in the last video i don't plan on getting ursula so um unless for whatever reason i can find her for cheaper than what she's going for on ebay but yeah so for right now that's kind of where we're cutting it off um this one was a gift from my mom. This is Rapunzel, the new one where she's got her little flowers in her braid and she's so cute. She's barefoot. You can kind of see her little foot. She's so, so cute. Um, yeah, so I think this has kind of ignited a spark of me wanting to get all of the Disney princesses. So you may see those in the future. The only thing I've kind of noticed is she's a little bit like flimsy but I mean I suppose with that much hair you can't really expect too much um and then the next couple bunch I'm going to show you are the Walking Dead pops I received um all of these but two were gifts for my mom for Christmas um just because she knows how badly I wanted to complete uh that collection so um but I'll start off with the two that I purchased um the first one I actually just pulled out of my mailbox today and also I'm sorry I keep looking at myself um, I know it's probably kind of annoying to some people, but just, yeah, I just, I'm trying to get used to where I need to, like, put things on the camera so you can see what's going on, so I do have to kind of, like, look at myself for certain parts of the video. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, so this one here is Shane. Um, this is the, well, I think it was a, no, this is a New York Comic Con exclusive. I bought it off of boxlunch.com which is I think is like a sister company of Hot Topic. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Um, I did want to say something about this pop. You guys do not go on eBay and spend like $40 on this pop. I have originally before I knew he was on the box lunch before I got the tip from one of my old co-workers that works at Hot Topic. Um, I was like bidding on this pop and it was like $25, $30, $40. I had no idea. You guys can go to Box, box Lunch and you can get him for $15. Um, and I think they have sales too where he goes down in price. So do not spend that much money on eBay. You don't have to. You can order it off of Box Lunch. Um, so yeah, I figured I would just unbox him with you guys. Also, I didn't say this before. 
all of these are going to be on box because I'm an out of the box collector. I do keep all of the boxes, um, except for the few that I didn't, um, I didn't really know it was important when I first started collecting them, which I should have known, but I didn't. Um, most, I'd say probably 95% of my pops, I have the boxes for still. I keep them in like a little storage container in my closet so they stay nice, um, but I do display my pops out of the box as you saw in my last video. So I thought it'd be cool to unbox Shane with you guys since I just pulled him out of the mail. He is so, so cute. Like, Shane was, like, probably my least favorite Walking Dead character of all time. I just didn't like him. Um, excuse me, I just burped. Um, but I just had to have him when I saw him. He's too cute. He's got his little shaved head. He's got his little gun. Like, this is, like, Psycho Shane when he went, like, totally off the wall and just, like, went crazy. Um, but... That's kind of, like, how I remember him, though. Like, I never liked him, so it's just, I see him as, like, a villain part. I know there's not really, like, heroes and villains particularly in that show, but um, he's definitely a villain, for sure. So, yeah, yeah, he's really cute. I love his, like, I wish my eyebrows looked that good. Am I right? For a man, those are some good eyebrows. <laughs> All right. Moving on, the next one that I got myself was the Governor. I found him on eBay for pretty decently priced. I think I got him for like $14. Um, again, I wasn't really planning on getting Governor until I saw him. He's just so cute with his little eye patch. This is another um, guy that you just like love to hate, right? Am I right? Like, I hated him, but I also kind of liked him because he was just such a good, like, bad guy. But yeah, he's got his little knife and he looks so menacing. I love it. He's got a little vest on. So cute. Um, all right, now moving on to the um, Walking Dead Pops that my mom got me for Christmas. Um, I'm just going to do some little organizing here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I've got them all organized now. The next one I'm going to show you is Carl Papa. If you guys have ever seen that YouTube video, um, you definitely should go see it if you've never seen it. Um, it's really, really funny. Bad lip reading. Check it out. Um, but yeah, Carl Papa. He, this is like middle age, like not like the newer seasons Carl, but not like the really little Carl. This is like the in-between Carl with, the, with his little meat suit on and his long hair and I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but Carl is my absolute least favorite character. Like... I would take Shane. My cat's clawing on the frame. Stop, Nigel. <sighs> um, anyways. Yeah, so Carl is... Oh, I just got a text on my phone. Close that out. Um, Carl's my least favorite character. I think he's dog butt in the viewfinder. Hello! Did I scare you? Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Sorry, guys. Um, Carl's my least favorite character, but... You can't have a Walking Dead collection without a Carl. So, I mean, I'm glad that this is the Carl that they went with just because, like, I don't know. I think this is the best Carl that they could have made. Nobody really likes Carl. If you like Carl, comment down below. I feel like you'd probably be embarrassed to say that. If you don't like Carl, comment down below, and then we can all just chat about how much we hate Carl. He's, like, evaded death so many times, too. I just don't understand it. Um, anyways, the next one I got was Rosita. She's so cute and sassy with her little piggy tails. She's just adorable. And her little hoop earrings, like, she's ready to kick some zombie butt and look good at the same time. She's cute. The only downside with these ones are that, like, they don't stand. She's, like, literally, like... I don't know if you can see that, but she's, like, shaped to stand on her tippy toes. So, like, she's not going to stand on her own. That's, like, the only downside with, like, the women pops is, like, most of them, you just, you can't stand. You have to lean them on something. Next one is probably my all-time favorite. Funko Pop, okay, that's a lie. Um, the one I'm going to show you in a little bit is my absolute favorite. But this is a close second, Michonne, in her original getup with her little sword. That's surprisingly really sharp. Only downside to this is it is kind of, like, flimsy. But, I mean, 
they did such a good job with this pop. Like, they nailed this. They nailed it. That's all I can really say about it. She's so cute. She's absolutely adorable. Um, next I have Maggie. Oh, cute little Maggie. There's not really anything particularly special about Maggie, but she was $50. I don't know if you can find her cheaper anywhere else, but I got her off of Amazon for $50. And that's probably the most I've ever spent on a Funko Pop. I think that's a ridiculous price, but I couldn't resist and I couldn't find her anywhere else. You guys, let me know if I made a mistake. I just, maybe you shouldn't let me know though. I don't know. You decide. Anyways, Maggie. Not really much else to say about her. She's kind of like the plain Jane. I really shouldn't say that. She's just an average, she's an average female that has a kick-ass personality and just kicks butt, but there's nothing like really distinctive about her. That's what I'm trying to say. But I love her. I love her and Glenn. They're forever my favorite, so I had to have her. I couldn't have Glenn without Maggie. That's just super depressing. Um, and last but not least, um, well, no, I shouldn't say there's one more after. This one is Carol. And this one, like, you can tell this is Carol. Like, she just looks really tired with her little bags under her eyes. And, um, this is definitely Carol. Carol's not one of my favorite characters either, but, I mean, she's a staple of the show. She's been there since the beginning, so. Can't have a Walking Dead Funko Pop collection without a Carol, in my eyes. I mean, you could, if you really wanted to. Like, if you absolutely despised her, there's no need to get her, I guess. Um, and last but not least, this is my all-time favorite Funko Pop, I think, that I have now. It's just, I can't. I can't handle it, you guys. I couldn't take him out of the box, and I'm not going to, because he's just so cute. I know he's really, really hard to see, and I'm really sorry about that, but it's Daryl on his motorcycle. How freaking cute is that? Like, I saw, like, all the different variances of Daryl, and I saw this one, and I was like, the other ones, they don't even compare. They really don't. This is by far the best. I really would like to see, like, and I guess I haven't really gotten, like, a really good view of this particular one. Okay, he does. He has his crossbow on his back, so it's perfect. He's got his crossbow, and he's on his chopper, and he's just doing his Daryl thing, making all the women love him, and fighting zombies, and being a good friend, and just a good brother, and he's just, he's my favorite character. I love him so much. I know he's probably like every woman ever that has watched that show's favorite character, because he's handsome, and I loved him in Boondock Sinks too side note, but, um, he's just, I can't deal. I cannot deal with the cuteness. He is absolutely adorable. That was my last Walking Dead Funko Pop. The next three I have here are, and I'm realizing now I'm at 13 minutes, so I'm really sorry for the length of this video. I'm gonna try to speed through the rest of these. I've got five more here. Um, the next three I have are Harry Potter Pops, so that I can start working on that collection. I know, as you guys could see from the last video, my Harry Potter collection was really droll. Like, I have an Umbridge and, like, a Dementor, and it's just, like, all, like, the mean people. And I have no Harry Potter until now I have a Harry Potter. And it is the Hot Topic exclusive Harry Potter with Hedwig. Now, I wasn't planning on getting any, like, special variances of any particular, um, Harry Potter pops, because there's so many, but I did want a Harry Potter that I felt, like, embodied him. And although I am sad that he's not holding his wand, because I feel like that's, like, a staple, like, he has to have that, but... I love Hedwig. Like, Hedwig is so cute, and he is so freaking cute in this pop. Like, he is just, like, the lighting is so bad in here. I wish you could see better, like, how freaking cute this is. Like, this is such a simple pop, but it is by far my favorite Harry Potter pop that I've seen. And um, I know it's an exclusive. And I know it's, a, like, technically a variant, but to me it's, like, the best one that they've made. Like I said, I wish he had his wand so that it, like, was everything I could ever hope for. But I love the fact that he's holding Hedwig. So, 
I finally now have a Harry Potter pop to go in my Harry Potter collection and not just like all the villi villains and then like Dumbledore and McGonagall and now I have Harry Potter himself. So Mad-Eye Moody is still my ultimate favorite Funko Pop from the Harry Potter collection because I just think he's so d gosh darn cute. He's so cute. Um, anyways, the next one I have is the Bellatrix Lestrange pop. Now this is just the regular ordinary Bellatrix Lestrange. It's not the Hot Topic exclusive. That one I think she's in like her um, Azkaban like prison, um, jail, prison, prison attire. Um, which was cute. I thought it was really cute, but I wanted this one more. Like, just her with her classic, like, black evil dementor, not dementor, um, evil. Why can't I think of the word? Death Eater. Death Eater. See, I need to watch the movies again. I haven't watched them in a while. I need to read the books again, too. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, I just, this just embodies her so well. And I love Tim Burton's wife. I think she, like, they could not have picked a better person for this character. I think she did such a good job with this character. Um, the only downside I'm seeing now to this pop is the paint job a little bit on her hair. But she's got so much of it that I guess you really can't tell, right? Alright, moving on. Last but not least, I have a little, um, oh my gosh, George. I think this is George. I think Fred is holding the little, like, luggage bag. Yeah, I think this one's George. Can you guys tell me if you've ever gotten a Funko Pop that, like, has something hidden in their dome piece? Like, what is in there? What is it? Is he broken? Answer that question down below in the comments if you know the answer to that question. Because I think my Cheshire Cat has, like, the same thing going on. Anyways, it's George. He's cute. I love him. I want Fred, too. Um, I want all the Harry Potter pops. Um, that's what I'm working on next after I finish my Walking Dead series. He's going to stand on his own. See? Why not the women? Oh, well, Maggie's standing just fine. I don't know. Last but not least, you guys heard me say that I wanted the Clueless Pops and got them I did. So, share. Oh my gosh. She has a stand. And even with the stand, she can't stand. There. They're so top heavy with their big voluptuous hair and their tiny little boots. But she's on her cell phone, and that's just so Cher. She's so freaking adorable. I love her. And last but not least, I'm going to show you is Dion. I did not get Amber from the series because I didn't really like Amber in the movies. I really just wanted Cher and Dion. And I think they picked the perfect outfit for both of these. Like, this is her, like, standard. Oh, she's standing without her stand. Would you look at that? Huh. Anyways, she's wearing her classic yellow plaid suit. And then Dion's in her little plaid dress suit with her hat. And she's even got her little nose piercing in. They are just so adorable. The best of friends. I love it. I love it so much. Um... But yeah, so that's all I have for you guys for this haul. Let me know down in the comments section um, what your favorite Funko Pop is in your collection. Do you have any that you want really badly? There's a ton that I want. Um, I seemed to get a lot of positive feedback on my last Funko Pop um video so I might um, do this kind of frequently I did come up with a new way to display my Funko Pops so I might show you now how I have them displayed um, for my next video we'll see someone had also um, requested that I do a video collection because as you saw in my original um, my very first Funko Pop video that I do have quite the movie collection I think I have in the upwards of 500 DVDs or so um, 
Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in seeing. I would definitely um, be up for that if that's something that you guys want to see. I may even do it anyways if no one responds because I am a smaller channel now. So, um, But yeah, definitely hit me up, guys. I love hearing from you. They, the comments that I receive really brighten my day. I absolutely love it when you guys give me feedback. Um, let me know if this is something you want to continue to see, and I will definitely do that. Um, but until next time, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you saw. I love you, and we will see you next time. Bye!